Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Cots here. I uh, just wanted to make this a uh, quick video. Uh, we got a pretty cool head here today. This is a uh, 4236 big valve, big uh, block head. Um, fully complete. Uh, this one he actually purchased the valve train with. Uh, recommended an upgrade. He had got the 65 pound springs and recommended them just with the 42 millimeter intake valve, especially uh, with the longer length, those 65 pound springs in a big block. Uh, just not enough. I mean, we run 65s or 60s uh, dual coils in the small blocks with a valve that weighs a quarter of what one of these valves weighs. So um, these right here, these custom springs we sell are 80 pounds at a 1.2 install height or 110 pounds at uh, the one inch install height. Um, so these are a real tough spring. What the 65 pound would be, uh, this would be 100. But we use them on a longer valve so they become 80s on the longer valve. This is what you need when you're doing big block. Two things with a big block, a balanced bottom end and a good valve train. Those are the two number one things that'll help you make power with a big block. Um, this head here, really nice. You can see it's got the uh, Mold Star seats. Mold Star, if you guys aren't familiar with Mold Star 90, Mold Star 90 is a copper alloy. You guys have probably heard of copper beryllium. Copper beryllium is a great seat material, um, but it's very soft and it doesn't really keep its seat, especially when you have a lot of high RPMs and a lot of spring pressure, it can distort the seat. So uh, the Mold Star 90 is like a super alloy. It's even, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing seat quality material, um, way above even a copper beryllium seat. The Mold Star 90, it's extremely expensive material, bar stock to make this seat, you know, uh, it's a 46 millimeter OD seat, so you need two inch bar stock. Uh, that seat right there is like a $75 seat. Uh, so they're a pretty amazing seat. So we got Mold Star 90 seats, copper, Mold Star 90 seats. We got the welded chamber. This chamber has been shaped. Um, it's got the epoxy port. It's got a 42, 36 millimeter valve train that's been sized out for his engine. Hey guys, Paul from Paul Scott here. Uh, just uh, another thing about that cylinder head. When you get into the big valve stuff like that on the big blocks, you got to cut the spring pockets. We do these uh, pretty often. This one here, we always cut it into the piston, and uh, we got uh, the exhaust and the intake cut, so uh, make sure if you are getting like an extremely big valve head, uh, seeing as though they do have a wedged shaped chamber, um, which does have an angled valve, um, you will need to uh, start thinking about um, piston to valve clearance issues, and uh, definitely making sure you got enough clearance for that. We do carry these pistons on the site. And if you guys, in fact, need to add um, something like uh, cutting the valve reliefs, opening up the valve reliefs in the piston, that's definitely something we could take care of. If you ever have any type of questions or something like that, something custom, you can always just contact us uh, through our email or text me or something like that. Um, it's fully ported. It has the bronze guides that have been uh, sized and shaped. We've actually cut the spring pocket on the intake valve side. This does, uh, he has had this set up with the titanium retainers. Um, he even has our custom big block uh, valve stem seals that he added, um, which are really nice. Um, so this is a really nice cylinder head. It's got you know, a lot of the bells and whistles that we're looking for when we're talking about making power, uh, things lasting. Anytime you get into like the copper seats, copper expands even more than aluminum does. So uh, it's a great seat material because if you think about an iron seat, iron expands less than aluminum. So as aluminum gets hot, the seat can get loose. Well, the copper expands uh, more than aluminum. So as it gets hot, it just gets tighter. Uh, which is great um, for seat stability and also the way it pulls the heat out of the valve. Uh, when you're running an engine like this with really high compression, a lot of induction, temperatures can get high. 
so pulling the heat out of the out of the valves helps keep the combustion chamber temperatures down keeps detonation down so you can run even more ignition timing safer uh, making more power um, I'll, I'll take a, and show you guys around the cylinder head now so we got the combustion chamber shaped polished we got the exhaust bolts in there is the exhaust port really nice beautiful port there's the intake port really nice beautiful port this one's been uh, fully worked over with the epoxy uh, we have a uh, couple stages to the epoxy work this one's like a full custom epoxy port where we've done like flow work on it um, this right here is an amazing cylinder head uh, that's why I'm taking the chance to film it I'm actually gonna take pictures of this exact setup with the copper seats and this spring package uh, this is exactly how I would recommend it to be run so I'm actually gonna take pictures of this cylinder head and put this package up on the site really nice cylinder head just wanted to film it real quick check it out you can check me out at pulsecarts.com website pulsecarts.com you could also, um, if you want to get in touch with me, you can email me. My email is pulsecarts at gmail.com. The email is pulsecarts at gmail.com. That's carts with a K. Uh, if you want to text or call, preferably text. The number is 781-492-7358. So I'm Paul. This is Paul's Carts. Check out this big valve head on the site. And uh, until next time, guys, have a nice day.